Hey guys, this is Ishmael Amte. Today I happen to be at um, this Akadigata Center, right? And uh, there's um, this lab, yeah, Ghana Tech Lab. Okay, so yeah, currently having the... Net okay, great, great, great. And this is Josh. Uh, he happens to be the president of the IoT Network Hub, uh, yeah, Ghana. So I happened to catch him here, sneak him here. You know, I had to grab him here to just ask him some few questions. You know, he has been um, having a lot of talks about the positive aspect of Internet of Things. AI, machine learning, and so on. And it looks like we haven't paid so much attention to the negative aspect of it. So today, we are basically going to talk about just a brief aspect of some of the negative implications of you know some of these technologies and how best we can go about them. So let's just get right into it. So Josh, right. yeah, welcome. And um, so like I was saying, um, Internet of Things, AI, all these um, emerging technologies which are going to take over in the coming years, what are some of the negative implications of them? Well, so for every good thing comes a bad thing. Yeah. And um, what I have realized that the bad things does not come from the technology or the tool. It comes from the people. Yeah, that's true. So as we have good people, we have bad people. Exactly. When bad people have resources to do bad things, mm -hmm. they have become so, so yeah. bad. Yeah. So um, I want to touch on some of the few things. If a good tool falls in the hands of a bad person, they could do. So we have driverless car. Yeah. So imagine you're on N1 or motorway, high speed, and somebody hack into your car and then press on brake on the phone. Mm -hmm. So what it means is because it's smart, people can control it from remotely. Yeah. yeah. That means it's prone to hack. Yeah. So the opportunity for us or the challenge for us is being able to build secure solutions, able to secure this. That's just a case of a car. Imagine you have a smart home, you are asleep, a hacker hack into your to house, system. start playing music, uh -huh. sort of thing. So these are some of the things that people can really do with it. the same technology that can also make our life better and easier. Okay. So the negative impact are a lot. Okay. From great, smart grid solution can be hacked and the whole um, electricity will go off. Okay. It happens in movies. Yeah. All the yeah. things we yeah. see yeah. in movies, they're real. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's it. These are some of the side effects of, of technology for in the hands of a bad people. The point I want to make is, it's not a tool that is bad. There's the people. But the people, the bad people who have access to that tool, is that's what makes, makes it, it bad. bad at the yeah. end of the so day. So if we can build more um, ethical society where people have values mm -hmm. and hold it up to their values, yeah. I believe that we can use these tools to solve most of our problems, problems. instead of causing more problems. Okay. Do you think we as a country, Ghana, or maybe as a continent, Africa, we are ready for some of these emerging technologies? Well, Africa being ready, um, well, I'm still young, but I read a bit about history, mm -hmm. and what history tells me is that we always catch up. Okay. So things so happen in the up, world, and we try to catch. Up. We are trying to catch, catch up. up at the end of the day. But I think in our generation, things are changing because um, the internet penetration has really gone far. Yeah. But what it means that whatever is happening in China, you can see that happening today. Mm -hmm. What we are lacking is the whole power, the people that have been driven. Okay. To explore these technologies to solve problems. Yeah. That's why we started IoT Network Hub. Okay. We wanted to explore all these technologies out there, mm -hmm. see how best we can channel them to solve our problems Problem in Africa. Society. Yeah, so if we're able to achieve our mission, probably wouldn't have to play the catch up game. But okay. we'll be spearheading. Okay. Or we'll be leapfrogging. Okay. So we wouldn't have to go to reform. Yeah. From A we can jump to Z. Nice. And that's what we're hoping to achieve. Nice, nice. The reason why I, I was talking about we being ready has to do with um, for instance our country here. Sometimes it takes a longer time for us to even put, make policies that govern That's some right. of these things. And these are technologies which are going at a very fast pace That's where right. like we already have driving, you know, self-driving cars yeah. in Ghana, exactly. which, yeah, you know, and those are some of my worries at the end of the day. What are some of the measures that we need to put in place to be able to help guide some of how these emerging technologies are coming so, by? Um, first of all, I think that yeah, always whenever there's innovation, policy catch up yeah so we don't put policies before innovations yeah, yeah. when you do that it's constrained innovation okay but what policy have to do is they also have to be faster to catch up mm -hmm. or else people might take the two and they use it for some well, of the we talk about yeah so i think um, government has a role to play yeah society has a role to play yeah. and institutions also have a role to play okay um, last week we have um, a celebration we celebrated the man who brought internet to africa yes 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 and some of this concern was raised yeah and we're happy to have people from the government mm -hmm. from the tech space mm -hmm. and from the people who actually build the internet okay. in the room yeah. to discuss some of these things um, but one thing that will drive policy is the people yeah if we are embedding a solution there's no need for policy mm -hmm. So we need to build a vibrant tech ecosystem yeah. that will drive innovation 
and that will drag policymakers to make policies for that. Nice, nice, nice. But if we don't do that, trust me, IoT is going to be catastrophic. Nice. Because what it means is that everybody can pick a device, yeah. do the anything, yeah. put it somewhere, yeah. collect data, yeah. even data that they're not supposed to take. Yeah. And that will be in freedom of privacy, which yeah. is very, 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 very bad. Yeah. So there's a need to get government involved in some of this interaction yeah. so they can also start planning. Yeah. In the next five years, how is IoT going to be in Ghana? Mm -hmm. And what is our plan towards that when it happens? Yeah. If they want to wait, they might be left behind. I see. Yeah. Now my final question is, um, would you personally leave, want to live in a smart home where everything, your fridge is connected to the internet, your lights are connected to the internet, everything is connected to the internet? That's an interesting question. Would you want to live in a home like that? I just don't want to give you a straight answer. Okay. But I want to tell you the reason why I would like to build or own a smart home. Mm -hmm. We have so many problems and I want to face most of them, as many as possible as I can. Yeah. Things like waking up to turn on lights should be things that boring machines should be doing. Like machines should be care doing of, it. Yeah. There are some things in my life I wish I can get machines to do it so that I focus all my energy on solving the most important tasks in my life. Issues, yeah. So yes, I will not just want a smart home, but everything around me I wish is smart. smart. I wish I'm living in a smart city. Okay. Which is one of our future projects we'll be looking at building in nice. the north. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that's um, basically just about it for this interview. Thank you very much You're for welcome, your time. Bro. And Anytime. in case you have anything you want to share with the audience, you can just well, go ahead and tell um, I have a message for everybody. Sure. Uh, the future is very exciting. We don't want to leave everybody behind. We want everybody to join IIT in the Tech Hub. Whatever you have, your resources, your knowledge, your time, put it into the community. IIT in the Tech Hub is on Facebook, on WhatsApp, everywhere. Um, the world is changing, yeah. and it's changing really fast. Fast, yeah. Technology doesn't care whether you will learn or not, yeah. whether you adapt or not. Yeah. Now you go to the villages, people are using smartphones. That's, <laughs> That's how true. far people want to adapt to technology. Yeah. So yeah. in respect of you changing or not, it doesn't care about you. Yeah. The easier you join, the better for you. Yeah. And IoT and AI is going to be like heaven on earth. So I encourage That's everybody to yeah. read about IoT, Network Hub, join our activities. Our activities are all free. Yeah. And then participate and get a skills that will make you stay employed in the 21st century nice or else you lose your job to the robot that's so true. join yeah. the future join it in a take up thank okay you. thank you very much okay all right guys so that's basically just about it um if you're new to this channel kindly sure. hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell also so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Ishmael Lamte. thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one sure.